Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. My name is Dwimawan Garvianto. I and my partner Nina Inayati are going to present our current study entitled Students Awareness, Attitude, Affordances and Challenges in Online Autonomous English Language Learning. This paper is presented for IV call organized by Polytechnic Negeri Malang. Now let's uh, move on to the background of the study. Autonomy in the form of self-regulated learning using various online modes has currently become the norm in the English language teaching and learning during the pandemic era. Reynolds and White 2016 suggest that technology for learning requires some degree of learner autonomy. It is in line with the study by Gartner 2007 who states that the perceptions and awareness on the autonomous learning practices are likely to affect learners' motivation especially for obtaining more exposure for their language learning and also for keeping them engaged with the learning materials and even after they finish the classroom sessions. Uh, in fact, a few study research uh, uh, addresses the issue about learners' awareness and attitude towards autonomous language learning as well as their affordances and challenges in conducting online learning especially in Indonesian context, and those are the aims of our current study. The research question, the first is how about, uh, how is the student's awareness about autonomy in English language learning? The second one is what are the students' attitude towards online English autonomous learning? And then the last one, what are the students' affordances and challenges in conducting online English autonomous learning? For the method, uh, the current study is categorized as descriptive study. Uh, we used two tools to collect the data, namely survey and interview. Uh, in the end, 185 students completed the survey, and then seven students are, uh, were selected to join interview for uh, data triangulation. Uh, for the data analysis, descriptive statistics statistic was applied for the survey data while content analysis is applied for the interview data. Now let's uh, move on to the research finding which is going to be presented by my partner Nina Inayati. Hello everyone, uh, Nina here and I'm going to present about the findings of the study as the um, research question suggests we start with the awareness of autonomous learning and in this study we found high awareness about the importance of conducting autonomous learning in addition to the formal learning organized by the university. The grand mean that we found was 1.87 from the maximum of 2 showing general, generally high awareness of autonomous learning from our respondents and this awareness was represented by these four statements in the survey like I am aware uh, that about the importance of this, I can actively find and integrate independent language learning activity into daily activities. Uh, for the attitude, uh, we also found generally positive attitude towards autonomous language learning in the in our respondents, and the grand mean that we found for this uh, construct was one uh, four point eighty nine from the maximum of six. So this is closer to five, and it's closer to the agreement with this. Uh, attitude statements, which is represented by these four items in the survey, yeah? like I like to do some forms of online learning, and that I learn a lot when doing it, and then I find it easy to do that. Uh, for the affordances of autonomous language learning, um, we've we divided the items into these th these three aspects, and it is based on the literature by Genson. Yeah, uh, the first one is for technical aspects. Uh, technical aspects especially the possession of technology becomes the main or the highest uh, affordances that the students uh, consider the highest one. Yeah, So just like the um, possession of laptop and um, smartphone, for example. And the other technical aspects that become affordances is the access to the internet. So apparently many students consider it as one of the uh, affordances that they have, although many or some also think of it as uh, still troublesome. The other aspects is the learning resources, and this one, yeah, many of the aspects about learning resources 
uh, become the affordances such as the ability to access the desired resources and also the knowing how to access the relevant resources yeah and also the assistance in the learning contents meaning that they know where to ask if they have problems in understanding the online independent study resources while for the learning management aspect uh, only one aspect from this yeah which becomes the affordances and it it's about the time management skills so many of our respondents uh, think that they know how to manage their time to do online independent language learning among other activities for the challenges um, they found we found in two main aspects which is technical aspects and learning management the technical aspect become the biggest affordances and also the biggest challenges in this case uh, especially for the aspect of limited financial resources especially internet uh, data or internet quota and also lack of technical assistance meaning they they find it hard to uh, find help when they find technical problems and for learning management uh, they express lack of planning not knowing how to evaluate and also in learning organizational skills um, meaning that in strategy they also find it uh, troublesome or they find it hard to do that um, uh, Exploring further about this issue, we asked them during the interview and we found that some of the recurring term is uh, you see, as you see in the quote here that we have, being systematic is good, but I seldom do it because I think the most important thing is learning. It doesn't matter if I evaluate my learning or not. So some students do not even think or the attitude towards evaluation is not there. Yeah. Because plan makes it feel too rigid. I think independent learning is very much personal and it, it is at times done unconsciously or unintentionally. So that's uh, that's, that's also a recurring term that we found, which is about the personal nature of autonomous learning, which makes it, um, which make interests become uh, the main propeller of what makes uh, the students want to do it more and more. So that's all the findings. Now let's move on to the discussion. We found some factors that lay the groundwork for autonomous learning to happen. Yeah, and those aspects are the internal and also external aspects. The internal aspects that we found here is the high awareness and also positive attitude, which could be a very uh, solid starting point for the students to do autonomous learning Yeah, for English, um, for increasing their English skills. And for the external aspects, uh, we found them in the form of affordances and challenges. Okay. And if we uh, use the theory of planned behavior by Adson, uh, it says that one intention to do something was influenced by the three aspects, which is attitude, subjective norm, and also perceived behavioral control. And in this uh, study, it has revealed two aspects, which is the attitude, yeah, the internal aspect, and also perceived behavioral control, which is the external aspects. But the subjective norm is not there yet, so it is still open for further invest investigation in the future studies. Uh, for the implication of the study, um, because high awareness and positive attitude towards autonomous learning was found, and we think that it could be a solid basis for further encouragement and intervention by um, English language institution or the teachers. And the affordances and challenges identified in the study could be taken into account by designing relevant supports for teachers, such as by designing or identifying and suggesting the internet data-friendly activities, because that's uh, one of the main challenges we found, yeah, which students could do for autonomous language learning activities. And also by inserting the discussion about learning management aspects into classroom teaching and learning yeah to train learners autonomy so like setting the goal and also um, how to go about achieving the goals and also how to evaluate the learning further studies could be directed towards understanding the role of subjective norm yeah how other people could affect our influence to do autonomous learning and conducting similar study with wider population so that's all our uh, presentation. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.